Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Uh, this game's plot is every it always has a way to maintain the plot, but in maintaining the plot, it also makes you not understand the plot, so you will want to continue watching. I don't know how to say it, but it's really a plot that's very stupid. 他每次好像一个人跟你解释了一大堆东西。照理说，一个人如果跟你解释一大堆东西，你应该更了解这个剧情。但是每次有一个人跟你讲一大堆东西之后，你就发现你的世界观又崩塌了。<笑>就你觉得，哎，他跟我解释了，我应该要多了解一点的，就没有，你更困惑了。他每次都是这样，越多人跟你讲话，你越困惑。这个 B B 现在不喜欢我们了，他喜欢的是那个王人。他已经完全不记得我们了，所以 B B 其实是，哦，这个我们之前看过这个彩蛋，<笑>这个彩蛋我们之前看过，但 B B 不喜欢我们，他感觉他就是 B B 就是跟谁互动比较久，他就会喜欢上哪一个人的感觉，嗯。我想看一次，我们如果正常看 B B 会是什么反应？安抚小鹿，哎，他不再叫 B B 了，他叫小鹿了。现在，其实我们就是需要重新跟他建立起关系。我们就，我们之前之所以会跟他关系那么好，就是因为我们经常安抚他，经常之之类的。我们这接下来这一路上也会继续做这些事情。我们跟他的关系应该会重新建立起。啊，那个实验室我们已经去过了，就我们之前在，我们之前在雪地里面找到的那个地方。OK， 呃，我们先接订单，再看看需要什么东西好了。御寒衣物，呃，我们接这个就好了。我现在现在剧情进到一个非常。
快节奏的地方，我我们就不要再用其他东西拖慢剧情了。剧情我们能够看，能够看快一点就看快一点。OK， 鞋带应该是够，鞋子我们也有。枪什么的，啊，这些枪什么的，好像我们身上也都还是有。感觉刚刚那场战斗的东西并没有延延续到我们这边。我们带一台车吗？我感觉车在这个山路应该没有什么用。我们带一台摩托车吧。我们带这台中等的，有一颗电池，又可以加上一些装一些东西的。嗯、我们看一下我们身上的东西。哇、哦，我们还得带上他的哦，我们还得带上他的。呀，那我们身上根本什么都没有嘛Sam, take care of her, and don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Come on. Oh, 上得去吗？上得去吗？哎呀，我觉得机车到这边应该是极限了。这三个东西我不知道我们身上还带不带下，带不下。我们能至少带上一个梯子吗？我们可以带上一个梯子至少。哦，不行，这样会取代掉我们的突击步枪。我们把这个梯子拿手上，因为我觉得我们前面等一下会需要用到，所以我们先把梯子拿手上，其他的东西就不用了。那两个制造机就算了。因为我觉得我们爬这座山会需要用到梯子。我们身上有没有？所以我们没有办法垂掉下去，我们必须用走的。
Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy, an impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them.
even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. <笑>然后我们接下来就要在这里，我们不能起来走动，但我们可以看来看去，看三分钟。OK， 金鱼骨骼。BT 印象模型。他也真的就让我们等三分钟，真的。妈妈的遗体，我没办法看他。我觉得他们一定。小岛一定有在这这这个这个区块里面藏了一些什么东西，让我们去发现。我觉得，就看我们能不能发现而已真的，我们真的就在这里晃三分钟。我们不能看他那个沙漏吗？那是什么？好像是一只，那是一只狼的皮，好像。五十三分钟，不，五十三秒，四十五秒，四十五秒。我们如果找到游戏想要我们看的东西，它就会给我们赞。B T 印象图
十五秒，我们是不是该迎接他回来了？我们来迎接他回来好了。No luck. Visit two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the twenty-one minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes, and no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially、uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that that someone in my position has to worry much about either.、Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam?、Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music,、uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. Or from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> But honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime. Nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me, and then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shock wave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> The people who died in the two voidouts were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. 
And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. This is why his floors are hard. He can fall at any place. No matter. The air mat absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. <笑>我们人真好。小岛的游戏真的各种幽默。Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. 